Hi everybody, I'm Tuesday Moriarty and I'm here today to show you a journal that I've made with a kit from Lorna Taylor at TaylorMade Journals. It's a 32 page kit and I've used just about everything in this journal. Um, I started out with doing a lace cover, all different laces and doilies that I've put together. Um, how much is my spine? Through two and a half inch, three inch spine. And it's a hidden spine. Here's the back here. I have all kinds of dangles here. And on the top, all kinds of fluffs. I have a bead on the back here. And I have a sewn in tie. I got a snowflake dangle here and some beads. I don't know if you can, let me see. Let me stand up and see if I'm getting this in here. Yeah, that's good. I have beads here and here on safety pins. I have this snowflake dangle here and here. I have a garment pin or a bulb pin. And another safety pin here with beads. So let's get into this. Just to make sure I'm placing it correctly and let's do this. Okay. It's how tall it is. I mean, there's a lot of extra. The pages aren't this tall, but it's about 10 and a half, 11, depending on where you're doing it where you're measuring from to about six and a half ish. But then when you get inside the actual page is about nine by say nine by five and three quarters. So here we go. All right. That's good. So it's fabric on the outside fabric covering. Here's the hidden spine. I have a lace pocket here. This is gauze because this is a winter journal and I wanted to make it look kind of fluffy and wintry, snowish. I have embossed and die cut cards here that I've put together. On the back of all my cards, I've used um, Distress Oxide inks, two different colors to go and just give it so that it blended in with the kit, with the colors of the kit. So there's three of them in this pocket. Another one and this one. This is from Lorna's kit, Winter's Magic. We got lace here and this is handmade paper but it's like a cotton paper it has a lot of texture to it and i used it in a bunch of places like along the edge here there's the cotton paper there this is a kit look how gorgeous this is it's beautiful the colors are beautiful the imagery is beautiful i have a lace pocket here with the ticket and an image from the kit these are all images from the kit all little cards And then what I've done here is I used that cotton fabric, the cotton paper, and tore, tore pages and just used them as a flip out. On some of these snowflakes, I put Wink Estella. So it's not glitter, but it's a little glittery looking there, but it's not like you get glitter on you. This is rice paper, which I also colored with the Distress Oxide. This is printer paper that I color with magicals, and this also has some gesso on it. Almost everything in here except for fabric is something that I've gotten from Lorna. This is a page from, is it's a French book from 1880. This is a little baby file folder that comes with the kit. 
It's got stag on the front. This is a postcard that comes with the kit and I used beeswax so you can see through it. It's always a nice effect. I'll put the stuff aside and put it in later. It'll be easier. Um, this is from a Jim Remy scored page. This is a doily with die cut snowflakes added on. This is one of the pages from the kit. Gorgeous imagery, imagery, imagery throughout. The rice paper again, the copy paper, the pocket I made. This is a wax seal. It says, with love. Another card I made. This is from the kit. And I just backed it with a nice thick printer paper that's good quality. So it's another journaling card, same here, because I wanted to get the torn edges that I um, put the blue oxide on. There's an envelope from the kit that I made a, what is it called, a paper clip? And this is an envelope, and inside I have little, what are these, page tabs and little shapes for, that come with the kit. They were extras that I didn't use, so. I'm... This is a piece of waxed paper that's been embossed, and I got that from Chow Chow Tchotchkes. And this is a piece of paper that I embossed cardstock, white cardstock. This is a Japanese page. I have some washi up here that I've also put some gesso on to kind of blend it in a little bit. This, this envelope here is um, a map of Canada. So I folded it over, made pockets. This is from the kit. The little stenciling on it. Put fibers on it. This is embossed, a little bit of sari silk. A little teeny card here with the fox on it. Look at this, how pretty. I have dangles, snowflake dangles tied in the center of the three signatures, which I didn't tell you that it has. This is an airmail envelope I have on with little sorry silk, little Tim Holtz paper clips. That's image. This is one of the postcards that came in the kit and I just tore it because I wanted to leave the airmail there. And I made a journaling card where this is embossed and die cut and just layered one of the scenes in the kit. Made a pocket here, tuck, and then the journaling card. That one's easy to put that in. Some more of the papers that I color. This is a a tag, I just loved it. Didn't even bother putting a hole in the top, just tucked it in there. Some more of the rice paper, some more of the kit. Look at that, how pretty, it's just so pretty. Okay, more of that French book. Another pocket, came with the kit. I got a tag here and I made a journaling card. Here is second signature. Another envelope with some blue eyelash. And in this one I have some more of the little images. There's little bunnies, a crow. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can get it up here. 
bit too blurry. There's images in here. And I have a little bit of lacy fabric. Another fabric. Embossed piece of cardstock there. Look at that. Adorable. It's just adorable. Yeah, that's it. This is a shorthand from a shorthand book. It's pocket from the kit. I put some lace here and a little doily that I did a little bit of blue embroidery on. I did um, French knots in there. And this is from Cine Crochet. Cine Crochet. S-I-N-I -I Crochet. I will have links for any of that kind of stuff, any of my um, vendors. I will have links below. This is a tag from the kit. A little bit of chiffon there. Another tuck. How cute is that? Great illustration. Shorthand. Another pocket here with the fox. You got the crows here or blackbirds, ravens, foxes. This one has a bunch of words in there. Magic of winter. Touch of Frost, Winter's Magic, which is the name of the kit. And I have a little bit more of that waxed paper in there. Some little goodies. In here, this is a bag that I made out of, what did I make it out of? Is this one I made? Maybe it's not one I made. Yeah, it is one I made. This I make out of, uh, you know, baker's paper. And this is Sorry Silk that I got from Sheila at Boho Day Dreams. It was perfect for this journal. And I just, it just went with this owl so well. Inside there is a journaling card. There's plenty of writing room to write here. Look at that spread. Gorgeous. Look at the colors. Here's some more snowflakes. Here's the other side of that bag. Some more of the sorry silk, a doily. Another tag. We got the raven here. And it flips out, so there's more writing space here. Shorthand. It's got lines here for writing as well. You can write all over. You can write all on the rice paper. Look at that. So, so pretty. This is an envelope. I have some sorry silk on it and some lace, an image here, the fox and the woman. And on the other side is the stag. And I put some of that cotton, handmade cotton paper at the bottom to make it look like snow. And then inside there is a journaling card. So, some more of the rice paper. And here's another flip out. Look at that stag. That's a great illustration. What I like about the rice paper is you can see through what's, you know, you get hints of what's coming up. Some more sorry silk that I got from Sheila. Boho Daydreams. 
perfect, just perfect. Also this glitter, this little bling here is from another piece that I got from her and I cut it out and put it in there. Beautiful graphics throughout. This is a, a Encyclopedia Britannica page from 1911. We got a flip up here, more writing space. Another pocket. I have the journaling tag. Another piece of that wax paper. Another journaling card. I have a tuck here. Let's use that cotton paper. Beautiful journaling card. And this is braille. Is that gorgeous or what? It's beautiful. I have no idea what it says, but it's gorgeous. Let me get this back here. It's the other side of the braille. It's a pocket that I made out of a journaling card. It's got one of the, the little circles here. This is a cluster that was made by my friend Susan Taylor Brown at Poppiness. And she does beautiful work and that's one of her clusters. Links for everybody below again. Another journaling card. I love these owls. This is a book in German and I do not know anything about it. I don't know what year, I don't know the name of the book or anything, I just know it's German. Pretty sure it's German. Beautiful center spread. Some more snowflakes. In German. Here's a, another bag that I made. The embossed tag with some Italian ribbon up top and some bling from Sheila. The card with embossing and die cutting. Some lace here. I'll have the, um, the lace shops listed below as well because I have lace from Amore Fabric Fabriques, I think is how you say it. Cotton Lace Shop. That's the main places that I have the lace from. This is another little file folder. It comes with the kit. I put a snowflake on here. And this is another postcard that I waxed. With beeswax. A little tuck there, a pocket. This is some of my printer paper that I did with magic magicals. Another writing space here. Rice paper you can see through to the image below that fox image. Another pocket with some sorry silk. And I have more little leftover pieces. I gotta get them out. Nope, they don't wanna, okay, there's only these, the big long ones. A walk in the forest, the wonders of winter. These, all, these are all part of the kit. This is little CD case that I covered with papers from the kit. Have some embossed paper here too. And then I made a card. This is from the kit and it's some of the cotton fabric and die cut. Some gesso snowflakes.
That's the other side of that encyclopedia paper. Some more cards, another postcard that I did not wax. Some more writing space there. And that's almost it. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Another lace pocket. January 1918 It's the graphic. And then in this last lace pocket, some more journaling cards. And that's it. That's the whole thing. So you know where you can find this. All the links for everything will be below. So thank you for taking a look at my journal. I had so much fun making it. And you should go check out Lorna's shop. She has beautiful graphics there. Beautiful kits there. Hope everybody's doing good. Stay healthy. Hope you have a great day. Take it easy. Bye.